Hello there, I'm Maddie, also known as Hello Interloper. So, today we're gonna just quickly go over the very beginnings of the bridal event. So, today I opened up my gift box and I do have some uh, metal ducks worth sitting around. Yeah, I know, I gotta withdraw them eventually, but they have no expiration, so, eh. But, it seems that everybody was given some red bouquets, 10, which means that I can do a red bouquet pull, which I will definitely do. 10 polygons, which expires tomorrow, so it seems that we're gonna get 10 polygons every single day here. Let me claim that. I'm five away from being able to pull! Ah, ah. And we get the wedding ring, and it's kind of funny because if you look on the very inside of the wedding ring, I'm sure it's probably hard to see in the video, there is the Alice symbol, the little square thing, uh, which makes me wonder, is the wedding ring, uh, an entity here? <laughs> Who knows? Well, it can evolve, or awaken, so I'm gonna withdraw that, withdraw the red bouquet, and let's take a look at this wedding ring, shall we? Taking a while to load, but that's all right. All right, folder. So it should be in the yellow category. Let's scroll down the yellow. I know I've got so many units. Oh, hmm, I have some extra crystals here. There it is. The wedding ring. Look at it, it floats and it glows. So, it has no skill, no crash skill. Um, it's a cost of 99. It's unidentified, it's a technical type. <laughs> I don't know why, that's funny. But, um, seems that in order to awaken it, you need lovely angel, bug 50, which is, of course, um, dropped from the event, the the missions, and let's go to Awaken. Oh, I can awaken some apples. Well, I'll do that later. Let's go find that ring. So, uh, it'll be awakened with the lovely angel, and use this awakening material to awaken a specific unit. That's what you used to propose with Oh, there's Lovely Angel. Lovely Angel is also an awakening material, technical type, blah blah blah. And, um, seems that we need 200,000 bits in order to, uh, use this. Anyway, let's take a look at the Hatcher, shall we? So, right now we have Hatcher side A, Hatcher side B. Rare Hatcher. By the way, just a reminder to everybody, don't use the Rare Hatcher. This is the worst Hatcher you could possibly use. It only gives you permanent units, and the three-star unit or higher guaranteed is not a very nice guarantee. Also, the ten times Hatcher guarantees ten four-star units or higher uh, is really not a great guarantee either. Uh, you can get a lot of these units in this Hatcher, from other hatchers. What you really want to save for is the festival. So, anyway, we have here the red bouquet hatcher, and uh, I guess the green one doesn't show up yet. But anyway, this guarantees me one exclusive garnet. Also, on my 10th try, I'll get a bonus and get bonus polygons on my 5th and 10th try. For this bonus, I get 100,000 bits, which is quite nice. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hatcher. Alright, Humpty. Give me some sweet, sweet stuff. That's a lot of rainbow. All right, there's our chainsaw-wielding friend, Garnet. Driving Opportunist Garnet. Nice. So it seems that there's a five-star version of her and a six-star version. Very interesting. So I just managed to get the six-star version. Cool. All right. Oh, 
already awakened frogs. Wow, oh my goodness. Awakened frogs. Three garnets. Dang, this is this is a nice hasher. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this. So, uh, looks like this is going to be one hell of an event. Alright, so, let's go to quests. Yes, yes, my folder's full. Dang it. Um, I can't check until I freaking awaken. Let me see. Two units of each. Let's go ahead and just awaken that. I think that's what I'm missing most. I guessed wrong. Uh, whatever. So let's enhance some yellow, because that's what I mostly got. Um, doo -doo -doo. How about let's top off a uh, quill in here. Yeah. Too close to 60. Uh, how about Typhon? There we go. Typhon's topped off. Oh, just had to get ultra success, huh? Alright, um, I'm still two over. Let's give a skill point to Odin. Oh wait, no, I did choose right. Okay, so I just need one more green double and I can turn that, uh, what is it called? The red into a uh, mega whatever. And let's see. Whatever. Let's feed those, what are they called? Those cores, because don't need them anymore. The cores actually work as pretty good EXP things. Anyway, sorry about the delay here. Now I can open up quests, event quests. So, right now, special, we have pure white halo dress, is available, nice. Six days, ooh, that's pretty harsh, but it seems that we do get, you know, we get uh, them from the hatchers as well, so that's definitely helpful. So they're both available, and I guess, you know, you can invest your time in both, or just one. Uh, Delphine is back. Nice. Uh, Typhon's here. Yomi's here. Freyr's here. Azazel's here. Uh, let's check here. Ooh, Yallerhorn is back. And, um... Hmm, Cyclops is not back. That's alright. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, I'm about to jump into this bridal event and start working on my units. Hopefully... This time I can max bug a red unit, since unfortunately I did miss my chance at max bugging Hellraiser. Anyway, best of luck to everybody, and make sure you farm like crazy these next few days, because this is going to be awesome. These hatchers are great, you're going to be able to hopefully enhance the hell out of all of your uh, units, especially ones that need to quickly be uh, max leveled, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. Anyway, until next time, see ya.